We pledge ourselves to liberate all our people from the continued bondage of poverty. Greatness was said. The whole world in a crisis. On a move like Taliban on a ISIS. Fish the sun of the day of the night and the dark. Show me the car bring back the nice miss. Fix up the all of the dogs in the streets. And the road is a moonshine. Moonshine. I go so hard for the lane and the main thing. The train and the stove time. Stove time. All the day I will go. Of continuous operation. The Interagency Task Force. In company with. The Garden Emergency Branch. Around 2 p.m. today, we went to the Santa Cruz area, where we traversed about two and a half miles into some bushes, where we stumbled upon what you're seeing here today. It took dedication. Motivation from the team that you're looking at to the rear. Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again, the great. Great. One more great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And click on another video. Shotty Mark. Mark Dinal. You think me done with you? You still a screeching around at the corner, but don't tell you. FBI, have your information, and if I the last thing me do, me I get you out of the Bronx. See, you think I joke me I make? No. The youth here, Marvin Richardson, from St. Vincent. You are the shotty mark for St. Vincent. I'm not done with you yet, you understand? I'm not done with you Marvin, because I have whole heap of things I want you to lift up out of blood clot St. Vincent, straight up As we move along, I'm going to talk about this gun thing in Trinidad But, it's a white boy police, yeah I hear some things about him in, You know, say, in, in charge of youth and a fake charge I'm mean, gonna talk about that in our next video but white boy police Jason you now get to it this is an update on the uh, big gun thing that they found in Trinidad and the more I look into this story the more it raises the ear them at the back of my neck now, not only did they find guns, but they found explosive also, lots of explosive, and they had detonators to detonate the uh, explosive. Now, people hear me talk about Trinidad, and a lot of Trinidadians, or probably some who's not Trini, think I'm giving Trinidad a bad rap. And I use comparison with Jamaica. And the reason why I use comparison with Jamaica because Jamaica have a high crime rate. So if you're doing a comparison, it wouldn't make logical sense I compare. Trinidad would say uh, Grenada because I think Grenada must say two murder and one of them are Dexter so I'm just trying to make sense and trying to analyze and analyze the facts that's in front of us in the public domain not uh, try and uh, invent some uh, <laughs> crazy facts. No, I'm not trying to do that. Now, I am reading through the Trinidadian news, and this is what I see. Now, look at the picture right there. It says U.S. officers are helping 
in the gun fan. Now, this is a very troubling situation for Trinidad. But I want to point out something. Even though they're finding all these amount of guns, Jamaica is still listed as a black balls country when it comes to uh, gun and crime. But there is more guns in Trinidad and the fox are right here in front of us. Now, it is very troubling for Trinidad and I wish the government of Trinidad would step up and protect the people them of that country more. You understand? Let me go on to show you guys something. Now it says right there that officers from the uh, US base, alcohol, tobacco and firearm, that's the ATF and they are federal, they are really FBI, are assisting the local police in tracing the origin of high powered rifles, machine guns, ammunition, plus explosive. So that tells you that this development in Trinidad is very worrisome to the whole region. Now, I want to show you guys something else because I am trying to figure out how did the police them get the information on these uh, guns and explosives and who it belongs to and part of the question is answered but another part of the question it just brings up some other stuff so let me show you guys this real quick it says right there one officer said the guns were at a secure location but noted that tests will be performed on the weapons to determine who handled them and if they were involved in any recent crimes now what I would like to zoom in on it's a secure location and from the uh, report that Alexander, police Alexander, stated that it was like a two month investigation. So my thing is, where is this information coming from? Is it coming from the gangs them? Right now and each other? Is it is police involved in this or army personnel with the gangs? We don't know. But there's another thing I want to show you guys. Right there, it says police source said that the gun belonged to a gang. <laughs> now, let's add up everything. And, and, and see now it's a two month investigation okay how did the police them know where the gun is uh, it was at a secure location so the location obviously it wasn't uh, a open any kind of place it was at a secure location now, if you guys notice, nobody got arrested. You see what I'm saying? So, if the police got the information that X is over there with guns, wouldn't you think they would try and catch X on the guns them? I'm just saying. But nobody's arrested. <laughs> Uh, and they're saying it belongs to gangs. How do they know these guns belongs to gangs? So
So, like I said, Trinidad is a very, I'm going to use this word, a very special place in that country. You have to know how to navigate the local sea. Ah, uh, them have enough for everything. Enough gun, enough drugs, enough money, enough girl, <laughs> enough man. You understand? And I just want to show you guys a little thing about Trinidad. Now, you have Prince Swanee. It's off the subject, but it's also on the subject. I'm just showing you the mentality and the thinking of some of these gangsters or whatever. You have Prince Swanee. He is the biggest thing out of Trinidad and Prince Swanee of Byron Messiah. The most biggest thing in the world right now. Okay? But Prince Swanee had to run with the man them run with them biggest artists that brought Trini Map, Trinidad on the map and run him from out of Trinidad. Let me repeat it again. The biggest artists in the world, you understand, which is Byron Messiah. I should say one of. And Swanee, who is the number one Trinidad reggae artist and mash up the place. He was just in Jamaica with Titi Man in Garden, him and Popcorn and Byron. Swanee is doing his thing, but look, they chased him out of Trinidad and he had to seek asylum in the US. I've never really seen that with Jamaica in terms of them artists. So, Trinidad have some weird things going on. Now, back to this gun thing. The, they said they call in the feds on it. But I don't think they call in the feds. I think the feds call them on it. Because the ATF ain't no dummy. And they know the cards are not adding up. So listen, Trinidad gonna need to fix. Fix that thing, yo. Fix the country. Now, this is what I have to say on it. And I might have a part three, but I am definitely working on a video. I just want to show you guys, I'm working on a video that I want to show you guys the kind of crime that's coming out of Trinidad. It will make the, the ear stand up or the back of the neck. Now, everywhere is body though. We know said the whole world in a crisis, the whole Caribbean, but I want to show you guys some stuff about Trinidad. Listen. My name is Countryman, remember to like, share, subscribe and click on another video and like I said, I love the Trinidad people them, I don't want you guys to think I don't love no, but like I said, I have to speak on my experience dealing with the, the, the Trinity, I can't speak on a fake experience. So I am just being factual with stuff that I see and try and be logical about it and not put everybody in the same bracket. I'm out. Countryman.